Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of One Life, One Death. So last night, I did clear out White River Watch of all the bandits. And at the end of the little bandit cave there, I did kill the bandit chief and did receive a two-handed elven warhammer, which should help out with my uh, DPS a bit. I also to receive the iron handed gauntlets which should further improve my dps which will be quite nice but as you can hear in the background there's some picking and i'm just gonna go and investigate that picking right now see what's up there and uh ooh, what the frick what 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 the vi what uh Okay, the Vigilant are here. What stage am I at? Uh, stage 3. That isn't good. Um, shite. What do I do here? Oh, God, this is both a great thing and a bad thing, because the Vigilant have some pretty powerful gear. So if I can get that, I can start doing some Draugr dungeons and clearing those out. Uh, this is both an amazing opportunity and the worst opportunity of them all, and there's two of them, and they're pretty high level. Uh, why are they even here? Like, yeah, but why? Why are they Vigilant Vampire Hunter? Yeah, I know, like, oh! Oh! There's a vampire here. Okay. I'm surprised they're not attacking me right now. Um, okay, so, I guess that vampire must have wandered in here, and... They took her out and just decided, hey, there's some iron in here. We could use that to repair our gear. <laughs> maybe maybe that's the sort of lore behind the scenario. But uh, gameplay-wise, this is a very good opportunity, but I really need to think here on what I could do. Because I need to do this really, really smartly. Uh, uh, I, I really would like their stuff. What, what kind of stuff do they even have? Let's just check. Yes, yes, relax. So it looks like you do have a silver long sword there, which sounds about right for the vigilant. Okay, that's I think the silver long sword is actually an ultimate scarm considered the best one handed sword in the game. What do you have? I don't really see a weapon on you. Pickpocket. Oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely. I want that. Okay, so you need to die first, because you're the most dangerous out of the bunch. Like, this is very bad, because I'm at overwhelming thirst. Stage 3. And these guys have silver weapons, which will absolutely destroy me in, like, a couple of hits. So, I need to think now. I want to have gotten my arsenal. I do have those traps. I will definitely use those. They will be absolutely critical to this. And what else do I have? I have something. What kind of spell do I have? That would help. Vampiric Servant. I think I could use that. What about, hold on, Seduction. Did Seduction work? I seduce you. Nope. Nope, nothing happened. Okay, Seduction does not work. Uh, right then. So, I do have the scrolls. I do have the scrolls. Uh, hopefully I have poisons as well. God, like... I used up those two poisons. If I had, like, just one spider venom, this would be, like, in the bag, guaranteed. Let me see what we've got here. I got... Okay, this is all I've got, really. I got these poisons and art potions of stamina. That's not going to help me here, really. None of these are going to help me. Uh, actually, maybe... Mm. Okay, I'll use that as well. So set everything up here. Because... I'll need that, just to bleed through their armor as much as possible. What else do we have here? Silver, iron. Okay, let's... Use that. Because I think my elven warhammer will bleed through some of their armor, so it's technically a little bit more efficient to use versus heavy armored guys than say a sword would a sword is more efficient versus um lightly armored opponents so it, actually it should help out quite amazingly so let's see i do have that speed up 
Okay, I'm missing scrolls here. Okay, so I need to come up with the plan, the strategy. So I need to deploy those traps. Oh god, how am I going to order of operations this? I definitely want to take out that guy first. He's the most dangerous. And because there is a little bit of distance between... Uh, who's this? Her? Her and him. That should give me enough time if I sort of angle this properly to give myself some time to like run away. Okay, so they're just sitting there. So this is perfect. Um, gosh. And then I'll need to use everything in my arsenal. Ugh, vampire Servant. Okay, I use the Vampire Servant to help me because I think he that would be critical as well. I'm going to have to. God, this is going to be risky, man. Like, the, I have to kill the guy. That will be step one. Critical. If I don't kill him, it's all over. Then she comes out, I have to get around her, go back to him, servant him, and then that'll make the fight 20 times easier, but I will have to use like all my scrolls as well. Okay, so, how am I gonna do this? So I want the bear trap, and I will have to set it up. It'll Go around. There you go. And the bear traps have to be triggered. Like, absolutely critical that they get triggered. And the guy can't trigger the traps. It has to be the, the girl vigilant. The female. Okay. Okay, so... And uh, hopefully there's enough space for me to walk, get by. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I do have an elixir of blood. This might be the time to use it. It might be the time. Okay. So, the plan... So, kill him. Actually, the plan... Fortify, two-handed. Get more expertise, so I can get be better at destroying his armor a bit and then run okay okay i think i've i've got the plan do this kill him trigger the traps do Use up all my scrolls here maybe use an elixir of blood if it comes to it it might it definitely might Come around, maybe reset the traps depending on distance, do a drive-by servant, and then the servant will take out that guy and it, take out the girl, and that should be easy, quick. Okay, so that's the strategy. Okay, so let's start this. Let's also get fortify stamina going. Okay, good, perfect. Bled through that. Ah, dang it. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 the rocks. Get the rocks. Okay, okay, it's coming. Okay, she's... Eh, eh. Oh, I used... Uh, what do you mean I used that power today? What are you talking about? Okay, so... Elixir of Blood time. It's time. Okay, I need to use... Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking K. So it's come to this. Uh, jeez. What can I do? Here she's gonna power attack me. How can I do this? I can't miss anything. Oh, God. Just hold still. Stop moving. Oh. Ah. 
Stay away from me. I'm not ready. Okay, good. That was a worthless piece of damage there. Thanks for that. Okay, I do have the bow and arrow. Okay, this may be bow and arrow time as well. Jesus, Murphy. Oh, no. This is what it takes to win. This is what we've come to. Okay, did some damage, but she blocked it. Okay. Um, I've got ranged. You don't, but I need a moment of peace from you. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I should be able to regenerate. Okay, damage, damage, damage. That's damage. Okay, come on. Just a little bit of time for me. Okay. I don't really care as long as I do. Oh, God, she's healing. She's healing. This is not even what I wanted to do today. I, I wanted to go and mine some gold. That was the plan for today, but now... Okay, damage... Done. Hopefully she can't heal herself. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. Okay, damage, good. Damn you. Stop healing. Okay, I need to come up with another plan. Maybe the traps again. Like... Maybe the traps again? I don't know. Because I do have the sprint. I do have the stamina for it. Uh, speaking of stamina, let's use that up. Thank you very kindly. Okay, this isn't working. Okay, let's do one more spin around here. Don't get caught. Okay, now let's run. Let's run back. Okay, she... Oh! What? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, she tripped and fell and died. She died. She tripped and fell and died. Oh my god. She touched the rock. She touched the rock and the rock did enough damage to kill her. What the fuck? She tripped and died. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. My heart. I'm gonna save. S save time. The saving has happened. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what you've got. Amulet, okay. Uh, excuse me, where's the blood? Oh, cause I didn't kill her. Frick, I didn't get the killing blow. Oh, that's lame. You're lame, game. Oh my god. But yes. It's mine now, and apparently it's stealing. Who cares? I don't care. Give it all to me. <laughs> god. Oh, God. It was, like, so close, to Like, she was right behind me. I was like, okay, this is it. I gotta, like, shoot her. But then she tripped and died, and it was like, wow, so beautiful. That's so beautiful to me. What just occurred that was scrumptious. Oh, my God. Okay. There you go, some blood. So that was my reward. Okay, so I got vigilant steel plate. Just take that. Just take it all. Take it all. Okay, so now I'm at um, sated. Not that it would matter for anything because I'm only at halfway HP. And I did use up that um, elixir. Fortunately. But I think that was uh, 
for that moment, I feel like it was a useful use of elixir. Because if I didn't use it and I got hit, I would have been dead, so... We got steel plate. Is this better? Oh, that's actually better than this. But I also get a steel. The thing is, I do like the look of steel plate more than I do the orca stuff, but it's objectively less armor, but not by much. Eh, I don't know. What's this? Um, expertise, or do I want a little bit more? Yeah, I'll keep those, I guess. But I got steel plate, a full set of steel plate now. I can actually, can I change the boots? No. Maybe once these are busted up, then I'll switch them out. But there you go. Vigilant gear. Awesome. But I will put it into my box. Put that in. Put that in. And that Vigilant Greatsword is apt is actually better than my Warhammer and I think it swings better and swings quicker and the weight is less and it's just like objectively superior by a huge amount so I will just put the Elven Warhammer I think inside this nice chest and I'll just use the Vigilant Greatsword as my main because it's just that much better that okay so nice oh still have the bad plate I don't want that I just want to keep the stuff though as a memento to the huge battle and the gauntlets oh got the amulet of Stindar should I I should actually use that because that should help out way more than um this put that in there Two and put one in there, and then I'll use the amulet of Stindar to increase my block damage with my two hand. Yes, okay, this is absolutely wonderful. So, two and two and two. So, there you go, brand new two handed. Look at that swing. Swings quite quickly too. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so how much time do we have left? Is there enough time to mine for gold? Cause I would like to go for a blood elixir. Okay, cause I really, uh, I already spent, <laughs> I'm mumbling. I already spent my blood elixir for that fight as you saw. So now I need to start producing more and more of them. So in order to do that, I first need some gold from which I can smelt into some ingots. That will be critical. And I know exactly where there is at least one gold ore. At least. I've actually, full disclosure, I've actually changed the mining in Skyrim. And the reason why is because I always found, especially in the... Ooh, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding? Okay, I can fix this. Maybe I can't. Oh my goodness, why? Oh god. Oh, there we go. My goodness. Alright, so the reason why I changed the way mining works. So, so I, I've increased the mining by like a hundred. So you can mine like a hundred ore from one vein. And the reason why is because I didn't feel like it made a whole lot of sense in the vanilla Skyrim how, like, people built whole entire lives around, like, these mining places, like the Silver Blood Mine. And yet you can only mine, like, three, three uh, silver ores and then it's depleted. And then you have to wait a couple of months in-game before it regenerates. So, for me... Where are we here? So, for me, I actually changed that. So now you can mine more but you mine slower now so that would be the takeaway 
So when we go to this gold vein that we're going to, we should be able to get quite a sizable chunk out of it. Quite a sizable chunk indeed. And that should last us a good long while, especially uh, for the blood elixirs I would like to get into mass producing because they're very, very strong as a vampire. Highly recommend. And then after we get the gold, I'll have to go back to get... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, jeez. Is there something I want to avoid? Are these more vigilants? Oh! Oh, are they coming after me? What's going on here? These are more vigilants. Oh, God. This vigilant has a crossbow. Oh, God. Jeez, you know how strong that would be? Oh god, I'm scared. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. One hit from that and it's over. I'm gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. But I'd be very strong. What is that? Oh, that's a troll. Goodbye, troll. I wonder... No, I can't. God. Uh, there's so many things I could be doing right now. I don't have that much time in the day either, really. Do I want to get the gold ore? Do I want to get blood? Some easy blood? Regenerate my HP. I'm not going after those vigilance. I think uh, two vigilance per day is enough. Don't want to uh, overburden myself there. I am also at halfway HP. I don't know. I'm thinking, let's uh, come up with a decision right when we cross this bridge here. Oh, that Nurn Root. I'll pick up that Nurn Root as well because I can make good poisons. There's also one open there, but I can't be bothered to go and grab it right now. It could be right over there. Yeah, too far away from me. And the night is pretty bad. Oh! Hold on, there is some blood I did leave in White Watch, uh, what is it called? I just said it. White River Watch, yeah. Okay, so there was some blood in there. I left for just such an occasion, just in case. It's always a good idea to keep some blood laying around before you get into, uh, blood elixirs. Just for such occasions like these, where you're at half HP. So we're going to just... Pay my little, I don't know what you call it, the refrigerator, a visit. Some blood there. Or is there blood in here? Nope, dang it. Okay, I think there's one guy in here at least, if I remember. Or maybe a couple guys. How nice would it be to have a couple of blood in here? Ooh, one blood. I'll take that, thank you kindly. Exactly what I'm looking for. Two, two blood and a flawless and some septums I forgot to pick up. Bottled water I'll pick up for the glass. Thank you kindly. Is there one more blood? Just one blood. Fill me up. What the fuck? What the frick? What? Get away from me. Who are you? Why are you here? What is going on? It's, the game is... Scaring me now. It's, it's like it's telling me that it's watching me. No matter where you go, I will be behind you. Watching you. Stalking you. I'm the one doing the stalking here, pal. Oh, and there's another blood. Perfect. That should fill me right up to full... Roughly... Beautiful. Yeah. What's this? Oh, that's a superlative. I will take that. Got to really go in here and loot the place. There's some very choice gear. Yeah, not so choice. What about this barrel? Snowberries? Yeah. Take some of those. Have a look. What does a snowberry do exactly? I'll have to learn that. Uh, learn vampire dust? Eh, screw it. Sure. Take the wood, just to get inspired by the campfire, by the campfire, campfire mod campfire, yeah, there you go. 
Uh, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? I shouldn't. I think I do have uh, just enough wood to uh, get it done. Get uh, re-inspired. Can't pick up that kettle, unfortunately. There's some good iron in that kettle. Okay. So, let's get back to it now. I've got my HP all back in action. And now we're going to go and pursue that ingot. Or that gold mine, as it were. That little gold vein that I know where it is. Fortunately, it's still raining out here. Not ideal for visibility's sake. So yeah, it should be around y y yonder. And uh, ooh, I gotta do this kind of quickly. Hold on. Is there more blood in here? I th no? Okay. I think I did loot all these bodies of their blood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so there's a giant's camp over yonder. A little wolf right there. What's this? Oh, that's his bones. I thought it was the carcass of uh, something or other. So there are going to be bandits up here, but because it's pretty low visibility, I do feel like my sneaking is coming to fruition here. And a very good sniping vantage point is actually up in here. Oh, I'm burping. Apologies. So I'm probably I'm going to need to ooh, clear out the bandits. Or, failing that, I could just go... Make a beeline right past them and just avoid them because I don't really need to eat them and I don't really want to. I really don't want to be killing my food right away. What is that hanging there? That looks like a glitch or some such. Yeah, that looks like something's up. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave these guys alone for now. Just so when I do need to eat again, at least it'll be right there available. I don't want to kill them right away. I do think they might be asleep. Nope, there's a patroller right there. Maybe you can see them. Yeah, I'm going to go right by them. I've decided. Hopefully I avoid them. Okay, just run away. Don't mind me. Let's also save the game as well. Here, something, something chasing after me. I thought I heard the clip clops, not from my horse, but from something else. Okay, so let's um get off of the horse right here because we can always whistle him later. Do a little bit of a scouting. Okay, let's uh, tell you. Wait here. Okay, so I don't see anything that would be kind of dangerous to me. Right. So I did bring my iron pickaxe. I came prepared this time. Not like the other times. Let's not mention those other times. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Okay, so we should be okay. I'm gonna take a dip. Yeah, let's avoid any sort of confrontation right now. I just want this gold here. All right, so as I said, I have increased the amount that one vein could give you by 100. At least I should have. We'll see in a second here. Yeah, it's taking a lot longer. 
Yeah, so it'll take a little bit, but nice to know I do have a vein pretty much accessible to me. Couple more hits. How many gold ores do I need in order to make an elixir? Yeah, let's just get a ton of them. Why not? One more, I think. I think that should do it. Now I just need to smelt it. Got 13 gold ores. Right, perfect. So it is 12 a.m. I need to hopefully find a spider. Or go to... How do you pronounce it? Crowvanger Cave? That's where all the spiders are. I can remember where, where that is. I think it's somewhat down south. He's marched somewhere. Maybe. Or is it in the pail? No. It's down south somewhere. I remember. Or the other... Actually, if I remember correctly. There actually is a nearby spider cave. And it's actually right underneath... White run. So we might have to go there. Pick up that thistle. Just to learn it. Okay, fortified armor would help. Oop. Falling. No, nope, I'm okay. So I think that might be the play now. Is I go to white run. Go down into the sewers, and then make my way to that cave. I forget what it's called. It's a special cave. What's that? What's this? Is that a rock? Okay, it's just a log. Okay. Very hard to see at night, even with um, the vampiric sight. So... Yeah, I think that will be the play. Sorry, fellas. Can't be chatting. Gotta go. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to skip the footage. And when we do get back, we should be underneath White Run. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, here we are at White Run. And as you can see, the guards are very nice and kind to me. But the gate is locked. However, there's another way. Oh, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to... Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, oh, I thought it was the tax, man. What What do you got for me? Contract. Or is this maybe... Oh, this is a different one. Letter to Ron. Huh. I'm not really sure what he gave me there. All right. Fair enough, but as you can see, uh, the gates are locked, but there is another way to enter White Run, and that is the sewers, which we'll get to right here, right underneath the, the city. Very inconspicuous. But this is how we enter underneath White Run proper. There are some enemies down here, though, as you can see, some skeevers, and there's a mud crab. I should be able to make short work of them. Let's, uh, there are some people here. Can I see what's underneath? There are more mud crabs here. So I think what I'm going to do, before doing anything, is because I am at stage one, I should be able to use this to my advantage. So I'm actually going to smelt, and maybe I have to consider at some point uh, moving all my material. I was going to say sleep here. Moving all my stuff and moving underneath White Run. I'm not going to move him right here because that's a little bit too exposed, but there is actually a nice little spot that I'll show off 
a second here after I go and smelt. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. All right, so they can deal with that. And uh, I think you can take fall. Oh, come on. I'm not fighting. Oh, I think that skeever has been, like, triggered. So I might have to kill that skeever and everything else that's alive down here. Just so I can be left alone unmolested. Yeah, there's that mud crab right there. There we go. Get out of here. And then you can get out of here. Come on, there you go. That should do it. Now we should be able to smelt unmolested. Okay, it's uh, 1 a.m. So there's a little bit more time. Hopefully I can make it back home. Earn ingot. Okay. Dang it, I can't make gold yet. I thought I could. Do I need to have better smithing? Uh, I guess I need to have better smithing. I think that might have to be the move then. Dang. I wonder if Hone Metal smelt. We're looking for someone, a woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay, well, not such a big loss because I still do need the gold ore. It's not that big of a deal. It'll just have to be, unfortunately, something I have to do later on. I'm assuming it's advanced blacksmithing where I get to craft jewelry with using gold and all that good stuff. Dang it. Okay. Unfortunate then. Yeah, okay. I still need other items as well, though. Still need to get that... That venom from those spiders. From that one cave that I found while exploring down here. So it should be over here, actually. If I remember, was that... Yes, I think this is it. place it's actually up over here so as you can see there's some like two little miners here which you can feed upon it's not bad and this this does look like it would be a nice little place for like a little vampire little roost but actually, the place would be down here. This is what you're looking for. It's also got a nice little trap system right there. Oh, it's quite nice. So yeah, this would be the place, I would think, if you were to make a little vampire base underneath White Run. Let's see. Nothing, really nothing here. Take that. Thank you very much. Oh, salt. Let's learn the salt. Oops, 
Let's get that wooden torch out so I can light this fire. So the problem with this this sort of entrance into Shimmer Mist Cave here is oh, look how bright it is. Oh shite. Okay. Okay, that's a Charis. Uh, when I was exploring here in a different sort of playthrough on my own, there was a spider here. Now oh, there's a Charis here. Dang it. Luckily, I'm immune to your poisonous attacks there, fiend. Dang, I thought there would be a spider down here. And, oh, oh god, oh god. No. Oh jeez. Oh no. Uh, that was close. Might have fallen into like the pit there and that would have been uh, not so good. Can I do it though? You know? Actually, let's take out this guy because it's pretty much an easy kill. Oh, not so easy, I guess. He's a little bit tanky. One of the more tankier Charuses that I've met, but we're doing some damage, doing some damage. What? Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, he's not really doing really any real damage to me. I mean, I'll take his blood. And I'll take out his friend here. Maybe we can get away with this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Clear out Shimmerous Cave? I don't know. There we go. You should have blood. Do I want to do this? I'm kind of edging towards yes, kind of edging towards no, because once I'm down there, I'm committed, because I won't be able, I don't even know where I am within Chimermus Cave. And there's no way to climb back up, I don't think. Do I want to do this? It's 2 a.m. I'll have a couple hours. Geez, I don't know. It's, might not be a good idea. Now let's go for it. Okay. Dang it. I feel like I made the wrong move there here. Okay. Okay, at least you have blood, so oh and you have you have poisons. Maybe I can farm these guys for poisons. I mean the ears. Mushrooms, okay, fortify health. Okay, so let's see if I can find my way out. That would probably be the strategy before I do anything else. Is this home? I feel like I made a grievous error. Coming down here. Don't say this is it. Right when I got my two-handed vigilant. Oh, I think that is the way out. Yes, I, I do believe this is it. Okay, so I feel a, a lot more safer. Yeah, I think this is Skyrim. Okay, perfect. So we can explore Shiver Mist. See what's up. Hopefully not uh, get into any fights with Charuses, because those guys are pretty lethal. I would like to get a Frostbite Spider if I can. Because that's more important, I feel. Yeah, I'm not really going to go and loot you. The other problem I'm worried with is, um... Or maybe... Is this it? I think this might have been... 
it. Get our sword out. Yeah, I think this might be kind of it here. We sold gem. Okay, fair enough. Take that. That's good news. Uh, do I need that? Yeah, I'll take that. Let's get a little bit more lighting in here. At the very least, I should be able to make quite a few potions, I mean poisons, but I probably won't be able to, what was that? Oh god, okay, that sounds like lightning, not frost, if it was frost I'd be like, lol, frost, but lightning can be quite dangerous as well, so I'm going to, uh, Uh, see what we've got here. I'm going to use the camera to my advantage. <laughs> okay. Okay, I do hear some sort of cackling happening, so this is not where I want to be right now. I don't want to be, like, in any position where I'm exposed. I don't want to give him the range advantage. This is probably the most efficient position to be in right now if there is a wizard over there, just so he has to close the distance to get to me. So I am a little bit scared. Maybe I'll just poke my head out. Because if he's got, like, the high ground or whatever, that's uh, it's not good for me. I gotta run away. It is sounding like he does have the high ground. I think I just saw him. Yeah, it sounds like there's something up there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, so let's hide around here, because, again, that did look like a wizard, but in order to do this properly, I might have to one-shot kill him. I mean, I definitely need to one-shot kill him. Okay, he's being a little bit of a dingus. He knows, he knows the score. I'll uh, give him that. And he has me spotted somehow. Jesus, guys. Smart. What's the solution here? Um, there is no real solution. I just have to, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold the phone. There we go. Some hits. He's probably going to heal himself, though. Let's be honest. But for whatever reason, he can't really get me. Dang it. Too low. An orcish bow. Let's do this thing. There we go. No, no. Uh, yeah. Now he's trying to heal. But, okay. He seems like he's stuck. Uh, I'll use that to my advantage, of course. Yeah, just have unlimited magic, uh, uh magicka right there, friendo. Be able to heal himself completely. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. One more hit, and I think that's it. Uh, shit, yeah, I don't have the HP to handle this. Uh, da -da -da -da. he's got a pretty good advantage. He's had a troll. 
And all I can really do is just peg at him from a distance. I can't chase after him. He still has that troll. So I can't go after him melee. And I think the advantage is his. He's got more HP than me. He's higher level. He's probably got a ton of magicka. I think those were thunderbolts. Yeah, and those are more trolls. Okay, so I can't do this guy. He's going to wreck me. Guaranteed. So I think it is time to skedaddle. It is also getting pretty close to 5 a.m., which is the time I need to go back to my place of rest regardless. So yeah, it was a good little journey into Shimmer Mist, but I don't think it's uh, the time for it. It's not time yet. It's not time. Need, uh, if I had a... Hold the phone. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. I need something that kills him in one hit. Because he's just going to out-heal it, right? Being a wizard and all. Yeah. I can't do it. Like, a lingering potion? Like, lingering would be okay versus maybe a bandit that had uh, no heals at all. But versus a wizard, they'll just out-heal the damage. So there's really no point in spending that poison. Yeah. Unfortunate, but we gotta play this a little smarter. A little smartly, as it were. Wow, we're that far away, eh? But we're kind of close by to our house. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will cut the footage here. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you'd like to see other videos like these, please like and subscribe. If not, I understand. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh shit, is that a troll? Run away.